This is a 06 Toyota Tundra with a 4.7 V8 engine in it. I just got done putting a timing belt on here so I can show you how I did it. I actually had this engine out of the truck because I was putting a, a salvage yard engine in the truck, uh, which made it a whole lot easier to do it on the ground, but uh, it still took quite a bit of time. Anyway, the uh, whenever I had the belt off, I went ahead and put a new water pump on there. You can see right there the water pump I put on there. Um, you can kind of see the debris down in there where you can see the uh, other water pump was leaking. Um, but but uh, on the belt, whenever you get a new belt, uh, it should be marked uh, right cam and left cam. And if you look right here, you'll see the two timing marks on, on the uh, camshaft uh, right there on the back side. And then on the uh, engine side, and you can see the line is perfectly lined up. And then on the right cam, same thing. You can see the timing mark right there. And then you can see back here, it's perfectly lined up with that one with the right cam. And then if you look down here underneath, you can see the where it says CR for crank. And you can see the dot on the crank gear right there, perfectly lined up. Um, on the tensioner right here, uh, just uh, let go of these two bolts, undo those two bolts, and that tensioner will come down, which will allow this uh, pulley to, to roll back, and it will allow you to put the belt on and off uh, pretty simple. Uh, whenever you're putting it back on, you can put a pry bar right there, kind of put some tension on there, hold the belt still, and then you can actually start tightening these up without compressing it and putting a pin in there if you don't have a pin. Um, just start tightening up a little bit at a time. Now make sure that the tensioner stays straight or else you could uh, break the uh, mount, mount holes off on the tensioner. Uh, there's only two bolts holding the tensioner on, so um, just be careful. Just do them a little bit at a time as you're tightening it up. Uh, other than that, uh, just reverse everything, put it all back the other way it was, and uh, oh, also the um, the coolant pipe up here. You don't have to take this cross bar, this cross piece off. Uh, it, it makes it look like you do, but you can actually get get this off right here. There's a little O-ring on the end right here. Uh, right here, just clean that surface off whenever you take it off. Um, it actually wiggle, wiggled out pretty easily to where I could get it off because um, you can't get the water pump off without taking that piece off. But um, other than that, uh, if you got any questions, uh, leave a comment and I'll try to get to it. Other than that, uh, thanks for watching my video.